The United House Gold Cup is next. It's two mile five furlongs. And it's a grade three. The top one is Ainta Sabarabre for Darren Thompson. A moralist for Willie Mullins, Heron Island, Terry Hansen, Casable Knock for Craig Allen, Amiga Millionaire, John Morgan, Sasta Nakam, Leon Van Rensburg, Shining Bright, Craig Beckwith, Sponge Bandit, Ryan Costello, Trojan Hysteria, Alex Cherry, Chicks Gold for Craig Allen, Cad Bean for Ryan Costello, Lady Rhapsody, Jim Murray, Overcome Scimitar, Alex Cherry, The Killer Queen, Joshua Sutherland, Under His Eye, Ryan Tamasevi, and Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg. And they are being called in, and away they go in the rain. Now then, as they race down towards the first of the 16 fences and those of you who have been watching the two earlier races with me all know I've been complaining about how small the text box was at the corner it is back to normal size in this race and it looks enormous it now looks really strange so it doesn't take you long to get used to things does it and it's a moralist who's in the lead but now being strongly pressed by the grey Sasta Nakam bit of a gap then back to the main body of the field as they get to the first of the 16 fences and they're all safely over the other side of it with Heron Island just a back mark a very short run to the second and Sasta Nakam has gone off like a scolded cat and it's four or five lengths clear coming towards this ditch gets over it really well and gets away from it well and he's in the lead coming down to the fourth Sasta Nakam really good jump there by Jim Murray's Lady Rhapsody in second Cheeks Gold also got over it well in third and there's quite a lot of horses in this in the blue and the yellow cap there's three of them so two of them are going to be Leon Van Rensburg's I would think probably Sasta Nakow and Vintage Trader and the one at the back Heron Island is somebody else's so it's Sasta Nakow in the lead then from Lady Rhapsody in second and Cheeks Gold and A Moralist then comes Cad Bean and Overcome Scimitar as they get over the fifth mistake towards the back there by Heron Island and A Moralist was a faller there obscured from view as it went down so obscured from my view anyway so a moralist is out of the race and Sasta Nakam continues to show the way as they come up past the stand and this will be the last on the next circuit and they're all safely over it this time round and they've got one more circuit to go and Sasta Nakam the grey leads by two to Cheeks Gold in second and Lady Rhapsody in third Cad Bean is in fourth then comes Overcome Scimitar then Joshua Sutherland's the killer queen under his eyes behind that one Vintage Trader is wide on the track tucked in nicely on the inside looking for a run through his Omega Millionaire then comes Shining Bright and Trojan Hysteria with Ainsa Sabrabre also quietly sitting on the rail and a bit of a gap back to the back two Sponge Bandit and then another gap to Heron Island is about five lengths adrift of Sponge Bandit. So racing downhill then now Sasta Nakam is a good four or five lengths clear with Cad Bean just poking its head into second. Wide on the track Vintage Trader is now coming through to make it a well oh, certainly a Leon Van Rensburg one two but Cheeks Gold a much better jump to seeing that one take a claim for second. Lady Rhapsody is still there on the inside under his eyes also getting a little bit closer as they take fence number eight that's the midway part of the jumping done mistake by Cad Bean to see that one shuffle right down the pack so to Trojan Hysteria Heron Island is on an island by itself at the moment about ten lengths adrift as they get to this next ditch and they get over that one a good jump this time in second place by Overcome Scimitar for Alex Cherry but Sasta Nakam is still showing the way and he's still jumping well out in front Sasta Nakam skips over that one bit of a slower jump that time a vintage trader jumped up well on the outside also Lady Rhapsody and Overcome Scimitar there under his eye is making a forward move Omega Millionaire is well placed as well then Catable Knock creeping ever closer into Sabrabra as well watch out for the top weight that's a top horse back from last season then comes the Killer Queen Cad Bean is trying to recover his equilibrium from that mistake Cheeks Gold's also shuffled down the pack a little bit and he's now behind his stable mate Shining Bright's trying to go around the outside and Sponge Bandit is the one that's now had a shot along with uh, Heron Island I think as they take that now Sponge Island is still there Trojan up his hysteria has dropped to the back as they get over number 12 and it's Sasta Nakam in the lead from Vintage Trader and Overcome Scimitar together over this ditch which is fourth for moment and there's a faller there it's Cad Bean he's been taking liberties with the fences and he's finally took one chance too many and he's on the deck as they get over the third from home and now Sasta Nakam being pressed on his outside by Overcome Scimitar 
star. Vintage trader and Omega Millionaire are next. Then comes Lady Rhapsody coming around the outside nicely. He's shining bright. They've got two more fences to take in this one. Under his eye, he's trying to get into it as well. So to his castable knock. Still a wide open race. And Sasta Nakam's fought his way back into the lead. Sasta Nakam then has gone too clear again. From overcome Scimitar is trying to renew the challenge. Over the second last they go. Better jump by the leader. Sees him pull too clear again. Has overcome Scimitar. Starting to labour a little bit under his eyes. The one who's really running on. Castable knock is also still there. As they race down towards the final fence then. And it's Sasta Nakam who's led pretty much all the way. Sasta Nakam overcomes Scimitar. He's trying to fight back. Then comes Castable knock. Over the last they go. And Sasta Nakam got about two fours there. Vintage trader and the killer queen have gone. But it's Sasta Nakam inside the final half furlong there. Sasta Nakam being pressed again by overcome Scimitar. But Sasta Nakam looks like he's got enough to hold on. One last lunge for overcome Scimitar. Sasta Nakam's holding on that one. Sasta Nakam is the winner. Overcome Scimitar second and Castle will knock. And Amiga Millionaire ain't just a bra bra run on Will. Heron Island is going to come round in his own time, but he is going to finish. And Sasta Nakam pull a post win. He overcome Scimitar battling on Will, but couldn't quite get past him. All the two looked like they were going to make runs that they petered out. Cassable knock, Amiga Millionaire under his eye, all looked like they were going to come through for a good run at one point, but Sasta Nakam takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Overcome Scimitar was second for Alex Cherry. Cassable knock for Craig Allen was third. Amiga Millionaire for John Morgan was fourth. And Aintis of Bravo for Darren Thompson was fifth.